Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This Wednesday morning, a lot of snow out here uh, where I am. Beautiful to look at, but as a custodian, not easy to shovel. But thankful to God that he sends the snow, he sends all the weather to replenish and cleanse the earth. And today, the thought for the day was going through the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 7. As I was going through this chapter, the beginning part of the chapter speaks of false religion and Jeremiah warned the people in Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 4 be careful of people who come with come to you with deception and deceitful words my friends we are all like sheep by nature we don't want to think of it but Isaiah 53 verse 6 tells us by nature we're all like sheep that go astray we're easily prone to wander by nature a sheep is one who if it leaves the shepherd will wander up to a wolf and say, hey, what's your name, my friend? How you doing? And get devoured. And that's how we are if we do not stay under the care of our good shepherd, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Christ said in John chapter 10, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. When Christ left this earth, he promised that he would leave, <coughs> he would leave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, we're told in John chapter 16, verse 13, will guide us into all truth when we follow the truth we stay away from lies john chapter 8 verse 44 christ told us that satan is the father of lies my friends we need to be careful who we listen to and one teaching in particular that i wanted to speak about today that touched my heart was this teaching that you could lose your salvation and people will take some teachers will actually tell you that you can lose your salvation. You cannot lose your salvation. The Bible tells us in Jonah chapter 2, verse 9, salvation belongs to the Lord. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 says, He who began the work will be faithful to complete it. There's nothing that can separate us from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. We read that in Romans chapter 8, verses 33 to 39. Christ himself told us in John chapter 10, verse 28 and 29 that he gives us eternal life. Eternal life is not like a switch you could turn off and on. Eternal goes on forever and ever. And Christ would tell us in John 10, verse 29, no one can snatch you out of my hand. There are verses in the Bible like Hebrews chapter 6, verse 5, where people see that people tasted of the word of God, but then they fell away. They think that they were saved, but then they got lost. My friends, there's a big difference between tasting the Word of God and digesting the Word of God. What I mean by that is, a little later on in Jeremiah, we're going to read in Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16, Jeremiah ate the Word of God. He digested it. He took it in. When I was younger, before I met my wife, I dated a girl. This girl was very pretty, beautiful girl, but she was anorexic. What that was, was she would eat, she would, di she would taste the food. We would go out to eat or if she was eating, she would taste the food and then sometimes spit it out or sometimes she would eat it, but then throw up. She would put a finger in her throat and throw up the food right away. She enjoyed tasting the food, but she would not digest it. And physically speaking, she got very, very sick. And that's how it is spiritually. People might taste of the word of God but they really never digested it. The Apostle John, 1 John chapter 2, verse 19, reminds us that there are many people that will go to church, come within us, but then eventually they will leave. But they were never of us. How many times I've been in my church now, church, the, last church, the latest church I've been in for the last 21 years, and how many times I've seen people come to church Oh, I love the Lord. You're my family. I love this church. I love the teaching and the preaching here. This is, this is where I want to be. And then years later or months later, they're gone. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave a parable in Mark chapter 4 of a parable of Soa, verses 16 and 17. You can read there where people will, are like seeds planted on certain ground. They listen to the word of God. And eventually they fall away from the word. They rejoiced in it for a season. They tasted of the word, but they didn't digest it. My friends, this is why we need to be careful who we listen to. Watch the teachings and the preachings you follow on TV. 
I am thankful to God. He has allowed me to come out, do these devotional videos if I'm healthy enough uh, pretty much every day by his grace and mercy, his providential care. But I try to quote the Bible as much as I can whenever I do a video. I don't want people to hear me. Yeah, I'm the mouthpiece, so to speak. But I'm only the messenger. I'm not the message. The message is Jesus Christ. It's his word. Get into your Bible and let your Bible get into you. John Bunyan used to say, who wrote Pilgrim's, Pro Pilgrim's Progress, he was born in 1628, he died in 1688. He used to say, sin will keep you from your Bible or your Bible will keep you from sin. Psalm 119 verses 9 to 11 tells us that the way we stay away from sin, even the sin of deception and deceit, staying in the word of God. David told us in Psalm 1, six verses, very short uh, psalm, Blessed is the person who meditates on the Word of God day and night. It's not just enough to read the Word. You know, one of the things I struggle with at times is my attention span in reading. When I grew up, I didn't grow up being a good reader. I grew up in the street. So I've had to learn to try to discipline myself that when I read the Bible, not just read it and then start watching TV, but to meditate on it. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. I pray that it will be used in your hands to help others to draw closer to you through your word and avoid deception. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all, my friends.